yes, the bold and the beautiful spoilers revealed that no one knew that Sheila was still alive except Deacon. It is true that Sheila successfully fooled everyone, including Detective Sanchez. It was Sanchez who made the announcement that Sheila had been torn to pieces by a bear, so everyone believed the news. Unexpectedly, Sheila set up a fake scene and then went to Deacon to ask for a shelter. Meanwhile, the others are celebrating Sheila's death as well as Finn's spectacular return. The Forrester family members threw a grand party to mark those two important events. For the time being, they had no doubts about Sheila's death and were at ease. Let this party pass to its fullest. Perhaps later they would be shocked to learn that the threat they were celebrating still existed in this town. The fact that Hope was constantly immersed in grief gradually made Liam feel tired. He thinks that Hope is being too negative, while there are other better ways to deal with the problem. Thomas, of course, would never give in to Douglas, because this was his biological son. Thomas certainly didn't want Thomas to be with Hope, while Hope had a new family with Liam. Hope is only the legal mother of Doug Douglas, and is not actually related by blood to the boy. Hope best let go and let Douglas go back to his father's side, because Thomas's condition wasn't that bad. Douglas even got the chance to get closer to his father. Liam and Hope are talking about whether Hope has another baby, or they can adopt another. However, Hope's mood still couldn't get any better when she got into an argument with Liam. Looks like Hope still wants to find a way to get Douglas back. In another development, Deacon is confused when Sheila constantly annoys him. Deacon is under surveillance, so if he has any shady behavior, he will definitely be suspected by the police. The police would visit Deacon at regular intervals to make sure he didn't cause any serious trouble. Of course, they will come unexpectedly and without warning to ensure the most authenticity. This doesn't benefit Deacon at all because Sheila's in his house. Sheila has nowhere else to go and is forced to go to Deacon for help. Jordan is coming to Deacon's house and forcing him to quickly hide. Sheila in the bathroom. Still, it would be dangerous for Deacon to continue Sheila here. Deacon doesn't want to get himself in trouble again, so he urges Sheila to quickly leave his house. Next time, the police can still come, and he won't be as lucky as this time.